So I'm gonna show you guys how to make the badge of a car pop out, spin, and then come back. So let's do it. Big up to these creators for the inspo. So start off by getting a clip of your car badge. Something that is somewhat close up where the logo is in the middle will work best. Now open this in Adobe After Effects. Then drag into a composition and duplicate three times. You'll have a logo spin layer, clean plate, and the original. The biggest struggle with this shot is creating a clean plate. This is because the software is not perfect and will work best when your car shot has less reflection. Like in this clip of this orange McLaren. Regardless, it's not that important to get this perfect as it is mostly covered by the logo and the logo's reflection. So like hiding in plain sight kind of thing. So you first you want to click on your clean plate layer, go to the beginning of where you want the logo to start spinning and hit alt or option and the left square bracket. This trims the layer and do the same for the end with the right square bracket. Next, hide the logo spin layer, get the pen tool and mask out the badge, making sure to cover slightly more than the logo size. Make sure to add some feathering, anything around 60 pixels. And then track this mask by either doing it manually, making sure to click the keyframe icon or by right clicking on the mask, track mask, selecting position scale and rotation and pressing the play button. And now you have a tracked mask. Then go here and change from add to subtract. Next, you want to open the content aware fill tab, make your fill method edge blend. Your alpha extension, you can start with 10. It just increases the area to fill. Keep the range as work area and then hit generate fill, which will create this layer, which you have to trim to the same size. This is now your official clean plate. Now you can create a reference frame where it takes you to Photoshop to get a reference and you can do content aware there. But I think this will do enough for this effect. So now if we play this, you have your OG clip and then at one point the clean plate pops up and then it disappears. This is where the fun begins. Next we enable our logo layer. Trim the length once again using auto option and the square brackets. Go to the beginning of where the spin will start. Right click, time, freeze frame. Then we mask out this logo. We want to be a bit more precise this time and feel free to use feathering for this. More importantly is you want to click the anchor point tool and move the anchor point so that it's in the middle. Then we make this a 3D layer. Press P, click the clock. Press S, click the clock. Press R, click the clock on your rotation type. I did X rotation. Go to the end and align your logo to the final position of the original clip. Add one or two rotations by adding one or two to this number here on the left. Then about a quarter of the way through, increase the scale and position so it kind of jumps up. Oh, and I almost forgot, let's enable motion blur. To make it smoother, let's select our keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, and select easy ease. And here is our animation. But wait, there's more. To sell this a bit better, let's duplicate our clip and rename this as reflection. Let's make this smaller at the peak because it's further away. Drop the opacity to 30%, add Gaussian blur, blur the ting, and now we have a shadowy reflection thing going on. Finally, find the helicopter sound, slow it down, and boom. So if you try this in your next video, make sure to use some speed ramps which you can learn from this video right here. Links below to the project files and the footage. And tag me on Instagram or TikTok if you use these effects. And I'll see you in the next video.